It's IoT Week in Boston. My name is Tom Coyle. I'm the chair of the Auto ID and Sensing Group at the MIT Enterprise Forum. The long-awaited vision of the Internet of Things is exploding in many ways, and we've got four fabulous events from May 2nd through May 9th in Cambridge to talk about IoT. We're starting out with the IoT Olympiad, uh, which is a 48 our developer competition with great prizes, followed by on May 7th from 8 a.m. to 4 a.m. the Security of Things, a first of its, a first of its kind event in the Boston area. Uh, that will be followed the same day in the evening with the fifth annual Auto ID and Sensing Expo. And to close out the week on May 8th and 9th, we've got the NFC Boot Camp coming back to Boston for the second year in a row. My name is Russ Klein. I'm founder of Hack the Hackathon. Hack the Hackathon is proud to be part of IoT Week Boston alongside the Auto ID Expo, the Security of Things, and the NFC Boot Camp. Our hackathon focuses on three industries and how those industries are being changed by the advent of the Internet of Things. Our themes this year are giving life, an integration into healthcare, preserving life, an exploration of how the cold chain and supply chain are affected by monitoring and managing goods in transit, and sustaining life, a deep look at the maritime economies and arriving at a sustainable model for the New England fishery. Mm -hmm. The Internet of Things is based on the collection of technologies, including cloud and big data, social fabric connecting all of the smart endpoints together, and sensors on the edge of the network monitoring the status, location, and the pedigree of goods and people. The social mobile cloud is the theoretical underpinnings for our IoT Olympiad and the challenges that we're offering. We're very excited to be part of IoT Week with NFC Boot Camp, the Auto ID Expo, and the Security of Things Conference this year. The IoT Olympiad is open for registration, which is free. We're looking for developers and competitors to participate in our prize-rich competition. We're looking for mentors and volunteers to help with the event, and you can find all the information at iotolympiad.com. Editor of the Security Ledger, which is a computer security news website, and uh, I am here to talk about an event we're doing in on May 7th as part of the security, uh, as part of Boston's Internet of Things Week, called the Security of Things Flor uh, Forum, which is going to be exploring the next frontier in IT security. And I thank uh, Tom Coyle and all the rest of the folks uh, hosting events at uh, as part of Internet of Things. Uh, week. We're thrilled to have been invited to be a part of this uh, great event and I think uh, an event that will become uh, a tradition here in Boston. Um, so the big picture for me is that uh, the Internet of Things is, is fast becoming a huge market uh, that is going to subsume some what we've traditionally known as, uh, of, as the uh, information technology market. IDC predicts it will be around uh, close to $9 trillion by the end of this decade, and around 212 billion uh, connected devices, 30 billion of them self-governing and autonomous. In other words, not uh, operated and managed directly by human beings. Um, we're already seeing old economy firms like General Electric, uh, Ford Motor, uh, and so on, really remaking themselves not as hardware or appliance makers, but really as software makers, software publishers, uh, that just happen to deliver their software in the form of automobiles or uh, refrigerator freezers. Those types of products um, are now basically software devices. What does that mean for the traditional, what has been known as the IT security industry, uh, where the paradigm has really been traditional networking, uh, networked computing, 
and uh, you know uh, endpoints, servers, and uh, switches and routers to tie them all together. That's really the question that the Security of Things Forum is uh, going to be exploring. Uh, and among other things, we're going to be trying to figure out what are the tools, technologies, strategies, processes that are going to be needed by both organizations, by governments, uh, and by individual to manage networks, not just of hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of devices, but are millions or tens of millions or hundreds of millions of devices. Uh, so those are some of the big questions that we're going to um, be debating. Um, I've been covering this space for a while. I'm the editor of the Security Ledger. Uh, I'm a longtime uh, technology and uh, IT security reporter uh, who's written for uh, technology publications like InfoWorld, uh, Threat Post, the IDG News Service, MIT Technology Review and uh, became really interested in uh, the expanding definition of what is a computing device. Um, started looking into industrial control systems and, and found my way to Internet of Things. Um, so this event, we're going to bring, bring a lot of uh, great folks together, thought leaders, technology executives, uh, corporate executives, researchers, entrepreneurs, and we're going to talk about the tools, technology, talent, and strategies uh, that's going to be, that are going to be necessary to manage a flood of uh, intelligent Internet connected devices. Um, our event, we're going to have uh, panels, a number of panels, uh, some, one focused on the enterprise, another one focused on the investing community, the venture capital community, and uh, one focusing specifically on the hardware problem, how to secure hardware. Uh, Dan Gear of uh, InQtel, which is the um, CIA's uh, venture capital arm, is going to give our keynote address, and we've got some thought leaders from leading technology firms like Cisco and Intel, McAfee, to, uh, to talk as well. Uh, we're really looking forward to seeing everybody at our event, and um, we're going to our, our event, uh, which runs from 8, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Uh, on May 7th, is dovetailed very nicely um, with uh, Tom Coyle's event uh, down at the, uh, the Expo at MIT, and so we're going to be encouraging people to um, hop on the MBTA and go down and, and check out the Expo after they're done with Security of Things, and I'm really looking forward to seeing everyone out. Uh, this is Tom Coyle again. Uh, this is an exciting week. This is our fifth year of doing the Auto ID and Sensing Expo. I've been the organizer for the five years, and it gets better every year. Our audience uh, widely ranges from technology people to business end users and just to the general public. People are excited to be at MIT uh, to see things on tabletops that they can touch and feel and it's highly interactive. So we've got a nice mixture of events this year. We'll have 50 or more exhibitors. Uh, we're, we're opening up a new demonstration space for retail. Uh, one of the themes this year is uh, retail of the future. And we'll have five or six demonstrations of retail solutions both in the store and back in the distribution center. Uh, we're also introducing this year uh, expert madness, where you can meet with 10 of the world leading experts uh, in, in the Internet of Things, RFID, barcode, uh, uh, NFC, any kind of wireless solution, mobile solution. And, and so you can meet with world leading experts for 10 minutes apiece uh, at the end of the event between 8 o'clock and 9 o'clock. The event goes from 4 o'clock in the afternoon to 9 o'clock in the evening. Uh, in addition to the expert madness, we also have two panels uh, with a, a great array of speakers. The first panel is called Reinventing Proximity, Proximity Solutions, to include three or four startup companies as well as uh, a large company, HID Global. Uh, the second panel is, is called The Future of Retail. And once again, back ag again this year is uh, Professor Sanjay Sarma of MIT, who was a founder of the MIT Auto ID Center. And we've got several other speakers, including the former CIO of American Apparel, Stacey Shulman. Uh, so you've got the 50 exhibits. You've got a couple great panels. You, you can meet the experts. Uh, and, and it's really an event where you can mix it up and have a little bit of fun. We say we talk about doing things differently with real world problems, but having a little bit of fun, so we'll have food and drink. And it's in the best building on the MIT campus, in my opinion, the MIT Media Lab. So uh, we hope that you can join us. So, so the, the panelists 
uh, for, for both the panels will be going on between 5.30 uh, and 8 o'clock in the evening, uh, with the first panel being Reinventing Proximity and the second panel on the future of retail. Uh, and, and it should, should be really interesting discussions, very different points of view between the two panels. The lineup of exhibitors, it keeps growing day by day. Uh, my, my assumption is we'll have between 60 and 70 exhibitors. But we get a mixture of hardware companies, software companies, service providers, research analysts, uh, telecom companies. There are small, medium, and large companies. A lot of the small companies and startups, we really emphasize the startup piece in this event, they're thrilled to be able to be at the same event with some of the larger companies who love the fact that there are startups with all their new ideas. So it, it's a thrill to be part of an expanded week. These are four great events. Uh, and you can really, uh, if you look down at the bottom of the slide there, uh, you know, the connections that people make, the collaboration, the learning that takes place, the in-depth learning through the security of things and the NFC boot camp, the be able, being able to innovate on the fly and develop uh, with, with the, uh, the Olympiad at the beginning of the week, it, it's a fabulous array of activities. So right now I'd like to pass it on to Rob Sabella to talk about the NFC boot camp. Uh, my name is Robert Sabella. I am CEO and founder <clears throat> of the NFC Bootcamp. And as Tom mentioned, we're very happy to be a part of IoT Week. Uh, this is our second week, uh, second year in a row that we've been doing this. The NFC Bootcamp will be uh, sort of um, uh, finishing up the week on uh, Thursday and Friday of May 8th and May 9th. And we're uh, pretty excited. I want to tell you a little bit about what we're going to be doing here at the end of the week. Um, people ask uh, why NFC and how NFC relates to the Internet of Things, and I like to show this chart because it, it clearly shows that NFC and RFID are really the last four centimeters of, of how uh, sensors uh, that Paul was mentioning and, and uh, how things are connected to, to the Internet, to the cloud. So it plays a very, very pivotal role in, in how we'll be connecting uh, things people, uh, applications to the internet, and it is a very low cost, uh, low power uh, solution compared to some of the other technologies out there. And so it's an integral part of, of how we connect to the internet of things. Um, one of the seminal events that happened over the last several years is that there will be, um, by the end of this year, half a billion NFC enabled devices, and that's only growing and it's enabling a lot of the applications you see here, and those applications are, are, are developing and, uh, and, and, and are very exciting. We, we know, we learn more and more each day about fantastic applications that are being developed and will be part of the IoT Olympiad as well, so you can come and create new applications. So it's very exciting to have the infrastructure being rolled out that are enabling new and innovative applications on a daily basis. Uh, we've done our boot camps literally around the world, um, and we continue to do those. Uh, we are very hands-on training, and we have something called the NFC Showcase at each of our events where you can come and work with the technology. Uh, our, our philosophy is you have to uh, physically have your hands on the, on, on the devices, on the software, in order to learn how to use the technology. So it's a very hands-on experience. And uh, we also have a webinar series as well for people who can't make it out to boot camps. So who should attend? Um, and anyone who's interested in understanding how NFC could affect their business. Um, we do focus a lot on marketing. We cover some payment applications. Uh, we focus on a lot of entrepreneurs as well that are interested in developing applications for the ecosystem. And as I mentioned, it's a very hands-on experience. And we use uh, uh, lectures. Uh, we, we use uh, um, the people that come and teach the class, our instructors, are, are renowned experts in NFC to get exposure to really the best practices that are out there. So we're very excited to be able to bring that to IoT Week this, this, this year. Um, what you learn, uh, we do a very basic overview on day one in the morning. Uh, then we get into more in-depth 
um, payment applications and non-payment applications, and then we have an expert panel, and then some networking, which is a key component to the two days. On the second day, more technical, very hands-on. Um, you will get to, between Knowledge Camp and Campaign Camp, get to actually write tags, read tags, understand how to create a, a cloud-based management system for your infrastructure. So again, very hands-on. So it's very, everyone leaves uh, the boot camp um, with a complete NFC kit, as well as access to a uh, cloud-based tag management system so that you can continue to create those campaigns. And, um, and we continue to stay in touch with you and, and offer support as you go and start deploying your NFC campaigns. So we're very excited to be part of IoT Week uh, batting cleanup here on Thursday and Friday, uh, May 7th and 8th, uh, May 8th and 9th. And